Uh, to access the system, use the URL wms.gtech.co.ke as it appears here. Just type this one, this one will bring itself. Or alternatively, when we create your accounts, you are usually sent an email. So from that email, there's a link. You click on the link, uh, it will redirect you to this site. And then use the password. So you will type your, your email here, the email that you are using. And then uh, you will type your password in this field here and then you click on sign in. If you forgot your password, click on reset password, enter your email address, and then click on next. If you click on next, the instructions on how you will send, you will reset your password will be sent to your email address. So you check your inbox. If it's not in your inbox, check the spam folder. Uh, you can also sign in with Google. Yeah, so, uh, for this case, in, for demo purposes, I'll just sign in with Google with one of the accounts, the test, uh, the test account, so that we see what you should have. Uh, the first screen that should appear when you log in is the dashboard. So you can see your name is your name will appear here. The team that you are in will appear here, and then your location will appear here. Uh, if you want to log out, you just come and click on log out here. Yeah. If you want to edit your profile, click on profile. And then you edit, maybe it's uh, a name or you want to change the password, you can enter the password and then you just click on edit. Uh, so to, uh, we usually have a platform here where you now raise your issues on the dashboard. Yeah. So this is where now people send their concerns. Maybe you have an issue with the system or there's an issue you want to sort out with maybe the Cleveland or Sharon or whatever. You, write, you come here, you type your message. There are several formatting features here. You can add a video image, a link, a table, anything. It's just a basic formatting tool. You type your message. Then once you're done typing your message, so let's try... Um, uh, Let's type a test message here, and then you say send. So for this case, uh, it will tell you message sent here, and then it sends to everyone. So this is a public message, yeah? So if you sent a message by mistake, click on delete, and then it will tell you the message has been deleted, and it deleted everywhere. So these messages usually send a push notification. So once you send a message, uh, people will receive a notification that, uh, you, you have sent a message and then they read it and uh, res respond to it. Okay, so that's it. So if you have any concern, you can just come to the dashboard, scroll down, enter your Renia message. And then uh, uh, when you have been issued with items, you come here, click on my stock. So this one, we've just issued uh, uh, some items here, LG6. So you can see the quantity that you have that has been issued, uh, the quantity you have used, and then the quantity remaining. So for now you have used zero quantity, so you are remaining with 10 meters in stock. So uh, if it's an equipment, like say it's Huawei or new, you see there's an option for you to view the cost that you are issued it. So if it's uh, this code one, two, three or something, yeah, all those codes will appear here. Yeah, so you can close that pop up there. So this is basically a summary of what you have in stock. So how do you use this stock? You come to use here. Yeah, and then you click on new. So you enter the account. So if it's construction, you type the project. If it's uh, installation or something, type the account number of the client. So let's type some dummy account. Then select the date of installation. Yeah. So let's say it was you can you don't necessarily need to install to reconcile on the same day. You can reconcile any day you want. So click on uh, the date you 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 installed. Select the item. Let's say you used a G6. Uh, let's say two meters. Uh, if you didn't you used more than one item, click on this plus here. So if you didn't use any other item, just say add. But if you used more than one item, click on plus. Uh, select the other item. Let's say you used cable clips. You add, let's say you used also two cable clips. 
Then, uh, if you are not exhausted yet, also add. So I'll add uh, Huawei or a new for demonstration purposes. We, this is a, a one. So for demo purposes, in terms of how you'll now be adding the codes, because people have been uh, raising concerns on how codes have been added to the system. So that's it. So we have selected three items. So LG6, two meters, two cable clips, and one Huawei or a new. So let's click on add. So if you click on add, if since it has Huawei or a new, it will redirect you to this page where you will now select the codes. These codes that will appear here are only the codes you are issued with. So if there are many, you just type to search. So I can, if you see, if I type five, it will return any number that has that five. So uh, if you return the, the are populated there. So if there are hundreds of codes, you just type the one you, you have, you maybe the last three digits and it will bring you the full code there. So let's say you want to use this one with the nine. So you just click on it. If there are more than one, uh, one, one item, you just search another one, then you add it. But for now we had used only one. So you remove that one using this X. So if you are removing, you click on X. If you are adding, you just click on that item. Then you click on save. So it will redirect you back to, so this one is a linear load that it will direct you now back to that. So you see this is a summary of what you have used. So this is the client code, the team that used that item and the items that were used. So you can see we used two meters of uh, RG6, two cable clips, one away or a new, and the code that was used and the date and the exact timestamp of what, uh, whatever time this item was added, yeah. Then uh, the date that you you did, uh, Rini, you did, uh, I did the installation is done here. Then maybe if you made a mistake, click on edit, yeah. Then you edit whatever you want to edit. If you want to delete it permanently, click on delete. Now, if you go back to my stock, uh, you can see we have used two meters of this, and then we have used two meters of this and one meter of this. Then you can see the remaining quantities is eight meters. Uh, eight pieces of uh, cable clips and uh, two pieces of wire. Yeah, and also if you see the codes, there are only two remaining because you have used one already. Yeah, okay. Now, to the most important part now, requisitioning for items. You come here, we click on requisition tab, click on new, yeah. Uh, maybe if it's a project, yeah, let's say those people in construction, you type, uh, the name of the project you're working on, yeah. And then you select the items just as you have been doing. So let's say you want a splitter, you type there, enter the quantity. Click on the plus icon if there's another item you need, enter the quantity. And then click again, enter the quantity you need. So you, you just be changing the items from that dropdown, whichever items you want, click. If you, it's, it's not on the first page, just type there, let's say you want to away or a new just type, it will appear, enter the quantity. Once you have, you have exhausted your list, so the comment is not necessary, but I can just type anything there. And then once you're exhausted with the list, add it to that, yeah. Or you can edit, uh, you can edit if you have made a mistake. But once now the status shows up here, yeah. The status shows up here, yeah. So if uh, uh, if that uh, requisition you have made has been uh, approved, then you will not be able to edit. So once it's uh, it's approved, you will just see that the status changes to approved. So now that where you can now go pick up the items from the store, or maybe if it's a shipment, uh, Cleveland will now work on that. Then uh, when you are issued with items, make sure you come to issuance log. It's here under reports. Click on reports, it will open this then issuance log. So issuance log will show you the person who was issued with those items. 
the team which is your team currently if you just confirm here this team here should be matching this team here and then now the items you are issued with are here and the date those items were issued and the person who issued the items and then you click on view pdf in case you want to see the codes so if i click on view pdf it will open a pdf file here that shows you a summary of what was issued so it was issued to this person by this person for for this team and the date was tuesday august 3 2021 and the issue number is this you can use this issue number to track your your issuance then now it shows you these items were way when you we issued three barcodes and the barcodes are these and this so confirm if there is an error on scanning of the barcodes you now raise an issue for them to modify that yeah, and then the quantity there shows so if it's cable clip it will show you what was issued and then that way the signature is not necessary but uh, in case you print it out you sign and then type the date in case you want to do a record keeping but it's not that necessary yeah so that's it so then there is another tab here called files so you click on files maybe you want to uh, add your designs iso dmgs iso autocad designs so maybe you have site maps or something any file you want to add let's say you have an excel so let's just try so to upload just click here add your files so i can do let's say uh award award document then i upload so you select your file once you have you are yeah, sure it's this one you just click on start upload this new once there's a tick here it means it has been uploaded so you just say return to file lists and you can see the word document is here and actually if you click on that word document you can be able to review it online but mine is a code so if it's another format you will be able to view it if it's an image you can view it alternatively you can also just click on your files folder and then you drag and drop yeah drag and drop directly here and it will be uploaded whether it's one file multiple files a video anything you want to upload that is work related yeah yeah because uh, if you add maybe movies and so that's against uh, work policy then uh, there's a calendar here maybe we'll, uh, you will be viewing important events it's a calendar for gtex so if, you, if there's any important event you will see it up here on this calendar so you don't add your own events here so if there's any important event for the company it will appear here then this one will be showing you the user guide uh, it will come up in a few then this is the not notifications tab yeah you can see if someone posts a message uh, you will be able to see it from this list here it's just a notification notifications then for settings we have a help my profile is just the same as uh, uh, uh editing your your profile as i've shown you before then that's it for the entire thing so that's the, the the remaining part is just clicking on logout here and then yeah you are logged out yeah that's it uh so okay we stop recording